Pamparada, Co Purudo, Shidi Balata, Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Welcome to World Breakout Gist live on Facebook. The third Tuesday in the ninth month. Father, in the name of the Lord Jesus, minister life to our spirits. Help us to intercede, to supplicate. <laughs> For our people, for ourselves, and we ask that you show us mercy in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Go ahead and do what you please. What only you can do, and no man can be able to withstand what you have done. Have your way in Jesus' name. Amen. So, you're welcome once again to what breakout just don't forget we are doing a series a month of prayer we call it mighty true god prayer service glory to god so we are looking at a scripture that will pray Isaiah chapter 51 Isaiah 51 verse 9 from verse 9 Awake awake put on strength O arm of the Lord Awake as in the ancient days in the generations of old had thou not it that had cut Rahab and wounded the dragon? 10. Had thou not it which had dried the sea, the waters of the great deep, that had made the depths of the sea a way for the ransom to pass over? 11. Therefore, the redeemed of the Lord shall return. And come with singing unto Zion, and everlasting joy shall be upon their head. They shall obtain gladness and joy, and sorrow and mourning shall flee away. Twelve. I, even I, am he that comforted you. Who art thou that thou shouldest be afraid of a man that should die, and of the Son of Man which shall be made as grass? Remember, mighty through God prayer service is what we are handling this month of September. Awake, awake, put on strength, O arm of the Lord, as in the ancient days, in the generations of old. Dearly beloved, whatever God has done in the past is not just a past. He's still doing it in our days. He's still doing it today. So don't give up, don't get discouraged. Don't be afraid. Wake up because you have entreated the Lord that his arm should awake. That his arm should be strengthened as he did in the days of old. As he did in the times of Moses, Abraham, and so on and so forth. Whatever he did for them, He's still doing for us today. It's not a secret. 
So don't be afraid. Don't give up. One of the things that caused limitation to a lot of us, I was sharing with some people the other day, I told them, I said, the word fear, F-E-A-R, you have ear in fear. The word hear, H-E-A-R, you have ear in here. And then you have ear in the center of your heart. H-E-A-R-T. Ear is in the center of your heart. And what your ears hear affects your heart. It is what you hear with your ear that makes your heart begin to have issues. Scripture says, guide your heart with all diligence, all vigilance, for out of it are the issues of life. So you need to guide your heart with all diligence, all vigilance. Because the issues of life proceeds from it. So we are going to be lifting up our voice to talk to God this morning. I don't know what is ailing you. I don't know what is failing you. I don't know what is paining you. I don't know what is attacking you. I don't know what is oppressing you. I don't know what is molesting you. I don't know what is confusing you. But we have an assurance in the word of God here. In verse 11, we say, Therefore, the redeemed of the Lord shall return. Are you God's redeemed? It doesn't matter what you are going through right now. You will return. You are not ending there. You are not dying small. You will return. You will not just return. And you will come. You will return and come. <laughs> it is one thing to return. It is another thing to come. You will return and come with singing into the presence of God. You will come with singing An everlasting joy, not six moon joy, not temporal joy, shall be upon your head. It will be like a crown on you. And you shall obtain gladness and joy, not sadness and sorrow. Gladness and joy. That which you obtain, you will retain, you will sustain and maintain. Because it is from God to you. A gift. So, he said, and sorrow and mourning shall flee away. When gladness and joy comes in, sorrow and mourning have no option but to check out. The entrance of gladness and joy is the exit of sorrow and mourning. They have to flee away. Why? Because it is being projected into you by God. No wonder scripture says, by strength shall no man prevail. It is not coming to you by your strength, but by God. That is why it is that mighty true God prayer service. You are returning as God's redeemed. If you are one, it doesn't matter what you're going through. It doesn't matter what is said to you. It doesn't matter what is planned against you. It doesn't matter what is projected against you. It doesn't matter what is conspired against you. The redeemed of the Lord shall return. Therefore, okay, look at what verse 10 said. He said, Had thou not it which had dried the sea, the waters of the great deep, that had made all the depths of the sea a way for the ransom to pass over? He said, Remind, remind, that, remind God what he has done before, he will do more. Lift up your voice now and begin to acknowledge God, begin to appreciate Him, begin to say, Father, I thank you. I am grateful. For being alive today. I may not have gotten what I want, but there is still opportunity for me because 
I am alive. Uh, I may not have experienced a revival, but I'm thanking you for survival. Open your mouth now and begin to talk to God this morning. Begin to appreciate Him. Begin to appreciate Him. Begin to appreciate Him. Begin to tell Him, thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. I'm grateful for what you have done. I'm grateful for what you are doing. I'm grateful for what you are about to do. Lift up your voice now. La para kalabeta. Ne fini la debeme shefa kavene kovoto vili vikapatabaya ma pavene vikofo topi li vikatabaya patonododos e lebe kama zukodobi ya katabeda me shepeke vekende vikalabotokolo a papu na pinika shekefide kabado lobotese e pu kete vikete vikalabina vikonto prekete Lord I am not giving up I am not getting discouraged because you are all over the world mele baragada vikonto prekete kete everything is in the palm of your hands neto baragade kete seketuba nothing takes you on away you are not you are never taking caught on awares of happenings around the world marakeje progodo vidi galavidi bisun koto briketelia whatever happens to my my family whatever happens to my life whatever happens to my business to my career to my health you are never ignorant of it e le poda bidi vasha pata gelebe kanto baraka pene kasoto kolaba ne kapara gede gede bezo boko dede kapara kete kete and take a second kata. Lord, I know you are my backup. That's why I'm not giving up. That job may not be coming right now, but it will come in your time. That child may not be coming right now, but it will come in your time. That project, that 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 contract may seem to be delayed, but it's coming in a better manner and form. Elebara shakabara tokovania patania keteve kete nakalatesa. E papru kozeke ne galemene kondozobara kante kete. I acknowledge you because your words say you make all things beautiful in your time. Ele patamala kente kele prikete ya. Le barabaga zakete kele ya pantalara. Lord, my times are in your hands. My season are in your hands. Ne kabarado zubri galabine gazoko tobi kalatara. E pra kalada bazo kembala kete nekoshe. E pru kezeke nekash. Napari gadabala kocho zeketena araken dezemekara kosho prikatane zokote aregeme debe gazo pinkala de yakandara ba kondo zokete libe yakanta for giving me life or giving me hope today i say thank you malagato zoprike de gena sekata laba ne praka do zoprike de zekete ba whatever you have ordained for me I will not, it will not elude me. It will get to me right on time because times and season are in your hands. Ele boroko zapa karabine kada zakete bikete kele be karabakato sokoto. No, thank you because my going out today is blessed. My coming in today is blessed. My expectation will not be cut short. Ne shobra kada boroko zobi kanda galaya kento soke. E boroko Every decree, unrighteous decree, will not come to pass because you are God. Eleka barada veseke ntekelekete. Who has said and it cometh to pass when you have not commanded it? Only what you say will stand. Let your name be exalted and glorified. Thank you for what you are doing. Thank you for what you have done already. Go ahead and take the glory. Let your name be exalted in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Please like and share this video. Encourage others. The Lord bless you. I see you around again. I remain your host, David Fan Joseph, the freelance itinerant revivalist and the visionary love diet missions. See you around as we cap up this series next week, same time, God's willing. The Lord bless you. The Lord keep you. The Lord cause his countenance to shine upon you. Enjoy your new week without resistance or opposition because God 
is backing you up in all you do. Have a blessed day. I love you. See you around. Bye.